እንኳን ወደ ፉድ ላቨርስ በሰላም መጣችሁ ዛሬ እንደምትመለከቱት ትንሽ ቢዚ ሆነናል የአፍሪካን ካልቸራል ኤክስቼንጅ ፕሮግራም አለን ከሳውዝ አፍሪካ ኢንቨስት ጋር በመተባበር ቆንጆ ይባህል ነው ወጣ ዘጋሽተናል ምግብ አለን ፋሽን ሾው አለን እንደዚሁም ኤግዚቢሽን አለን ሙሉን በሬስቶራንታችን አዘጋሽተናል ቆንጆ ቡና መጨረሻ ላይ ተጠብቃችሁ አላስጎብኛችሁ ያው ከጀርባ የምንመለከታቸው የፉድ ላቨርስ ቲም ናቸው ሶ እኔና ቲሜ አሁን ገብተን እናሳያቸዋለን
My name is Tabo Chauke. I work for the South African Embassy in Ethiopia. One of my assignments is to improve trade between South Africa and Ethiopia. And uh, food lovers for its presence in Ethiopia, it's something that resonates with my work because I'm here to entice South African companies to invest in Ethiopia and what a, and what a, uh, what a better way for South Africa to have a presence in Ethiopia through selling food to the Ethiopian market. So that's one way to promote investment in Ethiopia by bringing South African companies to invest in this beautiful country called Ethiopia. One of the things that the two countries need to promote is indeed our rich cultural heritage, uh, our rich history, uh, we know that even the late Nelson Mandela spent some time in Ethiopia and uh, the two countries, Ethiopia is always seen as a country which has done a lot for the rest of the continent. It's considered to be uh, the capital city of the continent and uh, one of the manifestations of culture is through either its uh, cuisine, uh, our clothes that we wear, the music that we play, we listen to. So this is what we want to see the two countries exchanging. Culture, uh, cross-pollination of cultures between the two countries. So it augurs well for my work to see the two countries promoting culture and cuisine is one of them. I mean as an African we have a, a, a a philosophy called Ubuntu and what Ubuntu embraces is to say I am because you are and there's no man who is an island uh, apart from the rest so you are because I am we, we there's no muscle of food that we cannot share we always meet as community we are gregarious being we share experiences we share our histories uh, and we share our, 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 our experiences in life. So that's exactly what we want to promote between the two countries, which is a cultural and people-to-people and people -people, uh, relations. You see, more than trade, what we, expect to, uh, ex uh, what we expect from this kind of encounters is to transfer the oral knowledge. You see, one of the things that Africa is known of it's our oral tradition. So when Africans meet, because we meet uh, in a communal manner, coming together like this gives us an opportunity to, as we partake in food, eating, we share experiences as I've explained, but we also share the rich tapestry of our history, of our origins, of how our ancestors fought against even the colonizers 
Ethiopia has a very great history to share with the rest of the continent how they were able to withstand the, the forces of the colonizers. So it, there, this gives us an opportunity to meet and like I said, there's nothing if you want to witness a beautiful way of a communal society. You just need to watch Ethiopians eating because they eat as a community, partaking from the same uh, plate, eating together. And that's the Ubuntu in action. And as they are eating, it's not just merely about appeasing our yearning a stomach which are hungry, but it's also to talk, to share to the young ones how we got to where we are, how Africa was able to fight, to become uh, victorious despite difficult circumstances. So it is an opportunity which allows us to pass to the next generation the rich history and tapestry of, where, of who we are, our identity as, as, as Africans. The pleasure is mine and Badam uh, Namasegnala. Even to Nazaga Jen Betwan in your McNett and the food lovers, Rasachin and the restaurant of Chasahun, African way in which open represent in the matter brand, you think a Saka Snell and a monu my lebet will and a menamno. Yeah, Addisawa, my let's see Africa, Hebratwana, make a match anat and Africa in Natum de Topa in Natum, Yarasachin in your own, Sharamas come at a lebum villa nominal. Slezzi by man in your chon, by Miss Rachos Rauch like. ምግቡን ብቻ ከመሸጥ በተጨማሪ ሐሳቦችን አብረንና ሸራሽራለን ስራዎችን እንሰራለን ሰፋፊ ኢቨንቶችን አዘጋጃለን ስለዚህ የዛ ዋነኛ አላማ ይሄ ነው አፍሪካን በመግም ማስተሳሰር ኢትዮጵያን በመግም ማሳወቅ ራሳችንን መግለጽ ባለብን ሁኔታና ማስቀመጥ ባለብን ሁኔታ አላስቀመጥንም ብለን እናስባለን ስለዚህ ያንን በእያንዳንዱዋ በመናገኛት ከስተመረም ሆነ ከዛ ውጪ በመናገኛቸው ኢትዮጵያዊነትን አፍሪካዊነትን ከመግብ ጋር አብረን ያስተሳሰረን ራሳችንን እንገልጻለን ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ እነዚህን ኤግዚቢሽኖችን ማብራን ስናዘጋጅ ኢትዮጵያና አፍሪካ አፍሪካዊነት ራሳችንን እንደ አፍሪካ ስለምናይ ስለዚህ ከዛ ጋር በተያያዥነት ባላቸው ነው ማለት ነው። ፉድ ላቨርስ ከዚህ በኋላ ራሱን የቻለ ሰፋፊ ፕሮጀክቶችን ይዞ ይንቀሳቀሳል እንደነገርኩሽ አፍሪካን ከመግብ ከማስተሳሰር በተጨማሪ የራሳችን ሴቶችን ሰፖርት የምናደርግበት እንዲሁም ባህላችንን በደንብ በመናስተዋውቀበትን ፕሮግራሞች በስፋት ይዞ ይንቀሳቀሳል ዊክሊ እንዲሁም የወሩ መጨረሻ ላይ የራሳችን ከየሁሉ ማገር የአፍሪካን ባሲዎች ጋር የተገናኘ የካልቸራል ኤክስቼንጅ እናዘጋጃለን አሁን በቅርቡ እንደዚሁ ከሩሲያ ኤምባሲ ጋር አብሮ በመናዘጋጃቸው ኤግዚቢሽኖች አሉ። ኢትዮጵያዊነትን ኢትዮጵያዊነትን ወክለው ሲሰሩ ስለነበሩ ሰዎች እውቀና ያልተሰጣቸውን ግለሰቦች በኢትዮጵያዊነትና በአፍሪካዊነት ላይ ሰሩትን ሰዎች እና ማህበራትን በሰፊ ይዘን ከየሁሉም ሀገር ኤምባሲዎች ጋር ቢሳይድ አፍሪካን ኤምባሲዎች እናዘጋጃቸው ኢቨንቶች ይኖራሉ ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ከዚህ በኋላ ከአመት እስከመት ፕሮግራሞች ይኖርናል ብለን እናስባለን ልክ እንደ ኤግዚቢሽኑ ሁሉ ያዘጋጀላችሁ አፍሪካ ምግብ አለ ለዛሬ መረጥላችሁ የሳውዝ አፍሪካን ካልቸራል ምግብ ነው እሱም ሲሸኛ ማይባላል ሼፋችን አዘጋጅቶልናል ወደዛ ወስዳችኋለሁ Good morning. Welcome to Food Lovers at Addis's Kitchen in Bole. Uh, we proud to present uh, some of our unique products from our menu to you today. Uh, we have two typical South African type dishes which is very African and used across Africa now and uh, since there's many Ethiopians who's also lived in South Africa when they get back to Addis they've become accustomed to these two products and uh, we have obliged to supply them with it and it gives us a great pleasure to present it to to the local public and also the tourist that comes here the first dish that we'll be doing is uh, on the menu it is called shisa nyama shisa nyama is a zulu word and it translates into grilled meat uh, it's very popular there's many shisa nyama restaurants opened in the cities and in the rural areas in south africa it's very basic it is uh, it consists out of gumfu we call it mealy meal we call it millipap 
we call it ugali in East Africa. So, and it's, we're consuming a lot of it in this restaurant. The, it is made from normal maize me, meal, gamfu, as we know it in, in, in Ethiopia. It's known to everybody. It's just a powdery milled corn, maize meal. Bokolo is what we use for this purpose. It is, it is cooked with um, salt and water and made into a stodgy substance. Okay, the product after having been cooked is um, gamfu, pap in this format. This is the consistency that everybody likes it at. Uh, I will dish it up as we would present it. It is then um, complemented with, this is our meat. It's a thinly sliced beef, slice of beef from brisket or chuck material. It's very uh, tasty when it's grilled. It has choma uh, fat in it and the meat is very thin. We spice it very lightly with a barbecue spice and, and a garlic rub, which I'll demonstrate to you on the fire just now. It's very simple. It's a cheap cut of meat and it is then presented there. I will um, let me take a, a cooked piece and show you. That is a piece of this that has now been grilled on an open fire. That's how it's preferred in the country. And then complemented with a spicy tomato onion uh, sauce, which is called traditionally called chakalaka. Chakalaka is the spicy sauce and it complements very much uh, what we're doing here. It also has uh, Farinji karia in it, and it's very delicious. It's tomato, onion, Farinji karia, garlic, and some salt and pepper, and a bit of uh, ketchup cooked on the fire, boiled to this consistency and then that is how it's presented to the customer. We would, um, let me just give you a little bit of the background of Shisanyama. Shisanyama, as Ethiopians are eating um, injera, South Africans used to eat uh, the millipap or gamfu or the corn meal as we have it here. That used to be the basic food substance of most rural South, Af uh, South Africans. Then later, when they could afford meat, then meat came in, and this was a cheap cut of meat, but it's very, very delicious. And then the tomato and onion and uh, Farinji karia that was cut in there. Later, it became so popular that uh, the whole community you know, South Africa is a very barbecuing uh, community. On weekends, everybody goes out and has a barbecue. Uh, the women cook during the week. The weekends, the men takes over and grills the meat and the ladies do the, the pup. Pup is another word for gamfu, uh, very traditional. And um, it's enjoyed like this by the whole community, the whole spectrum, not just lower income, but become also very high, the higher income people. It is delicious. Hence, the demand for it here in Addis has become quite big. Uh, you're welcome to try this later. Thank you. Uh, the second dish that we're going to present to you today is a very unique uh, dish in South Africa. It is located, it's widely used, in, consumed in South Africa, but mainly on the East Coast, where there's a big concentration of the Indian people. It's a dish that originates from India. It's curry-based, 
This particular dish was developed in the city of Durban in South Africa. Um, it's not the, the way we're going to present it to you is not used in other parts of the world. It's very unique to KwaZulu Natal, um, but it's widely used and consumed in South Africa. It's unique, its presentation is unique. We will be doing it at our event on Saturday evening. It's going to be very popular. It is, the basic of this is a white bread um, presented in the following form. We hollow out the white bread. Make it a little bit shallower. Then we have prepared a curry mutton lamb stew. Very spicy, very nice. Just give me a minute. What we've said is that we have a hollowed out white bread and in that we're going to insert a good portion of a spicy lamb curry prepared with uh, Indian spices. Um, uh, as I said, it's extremely popular in my country. First you would start with grilling your onion and your spices and ginger and garlic together and then you add your curry powder. Curry is a mixture of different spices and in the end it's called a curry or a masala curry. That is then um, grilled on in fire with oil and then the meat is added no, no, the best meat is lamb. You can make a chicken curry, you make a beef curry, but lamb seems to be by far the most popular. The shank is also very popular. Uh, it is very tasty because it has a, a substance, uh, the, um, the gooey, nice gooey part that makes it delicious. Uh, today the lamb that I've prepared is on the bone, which is fine, people love bones and to eat it off the bone. So that is what it looks like there. You could also put uh, slices of um, sweet potato or potato in there. But the Ethiopian palate is not for sweetness. So I think it'll be here just used with normal potato. But it's then done like that. Don't mind the sauce, that's part of the de decor, the way it, it is presented. You would do that. Then, then we would then, on as a side dish, you have what we call sambals. Sambals is a combination of tomato, diced tomato, diced onion, some green pepper, uh, green chilies, Farinji karya, in there, a little bit, a little bit of uh, vinegar. A little bit of vinegar, small quantity of olive oil. Or lemon juice could also be used instead of vinegar. This is to complement, curry is quite hot, it's got a, it's got a burny effect and this complements it to soothe the burning if the curry is quite strong. But uh, that is what we would, how we would present a bunny chow uh, to people. It's not eaten with knife and fork, it's eaten by hand. So you break your bread and then eat it from there, like you would eat in Jera the same. Um, these are two very popular, unique, delicious uh, dishes which is available in this restaurant and uh, well consumed. Thank you. <laughs>